by the mama is unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her hair nails done every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She always hustle so hard on her feet. Always hustle so hard on That's why she hit the mall every week. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, Happy New Year, Merry Crema, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for coming back. To all my new subscribers, hello, how you doing? Let me know if you're new to my channel, and if you are, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much, hello. Um, <laughs> I'm having a makeup class February 8th, okay, out here in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to match your face with your neck, get these eyebrows on point, and get you a flawless foundation look to go to work to go to school or to go party or to go find a sugar daddy so if you want to be a part of this class I added the event bright link to the description box so go ahead and get your tickets um it's gonna be hors d'oeuvres okay there's gonna be music it's gonna be drinks okay so definitely get your tickets and I cannot wait for this makeup class February 8th follow me on Instagram makeup sincere hello or it's Karen Mo. today's story time is going to be about when I put diesel gas in my tank right before Christmas so sis, I'm on my lunch break, okay, at work. First of all, I don't even know why we was at work on Christmas Eve anyway, but we were at work and I had a whole attitude, okay? A whole attitude dealing with these geriatric patients, okay? Them geriatrics was not letting up. I'm like, hello, you ain't got families coming down from wherever, Ohio and Utah to come baller? Girl, they was up in my doctor's office, okay, with all the shenanigans everything so I was like listen I need to go to lunch I need to go to lunch I went to lunch right and I was just venting I was in my car on the phone trying to figure out where I'm finna get this kid for Christmas yes a day before Christmas I'm over here trying to Christmas shop so I pull up to the gas station and I park my car and I sit in my car for like my lunch break is an hour so I sit in my car for a good 45 minutes talking on the phone you know listening to the radio talking on the phone so I'm like okay let me put this gas in my car now there's two pumps one for diesel and one for one for the normal gas the diesel one was all the way in a front and the normal gas was in the back usually it's the opposite the gas stations that I go to so I drove all the way up to the front not realizing that sus pay attention they're completely wrong I didn't have my card on me so I went to use Apple Pay that was my first time ever using Apple Pay <laughs> okay so it finally worked finally went through I put the $20 on pump 8 I take out the diesel nozzle I um you know open up my gas bowl whatever you want to call it and I'm like dang so this is me on the phone trying to put the diesel nozzle in my car and I'm looking like why the shit ain't fitting why it's not fitting I'm over here jamming it in like trying to jam it in instead of hanging up the nozzle okay my dumb ass I put the phone like this and I aim the gas <laughs> I aim the nozzle into the gas hole and I'm pressing it okay gas flying everywhere sus so I'm aiming at the nozzle into the gas pump okay so I done hold it down finally and my aim got right together and then you know the all the gas went in the tank girl so I'm like okay you know what I'm saying I'm ready to go back to work it's almost time my lunch break is almost over girl so I'm sitting in my car like did I just put diesel in my gas tank I was like, oh my God. So I called Richie. I'm like, I just put diesel in my gas tank. He's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. He's like, it don't even fit. How can it work? I made it fit. Okay, I made it fit. And I drove back to work. I'm like, all right, well, look like it's working. I drove back to work. Because I posted it on Instagram and I posted it on, on Facebook that I put diesel in my tank. And people were like, don't drive it. Don't drive it. Oh my God, don't drive it. Your car is going to blow up and die. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to have a car. I called Richie and Richie was like, you, uh, my dad said you could drive it home. Child, as soon as I tried, I was like, oh, that's all I had to hear, honey. Girl, I got in the car to drive home at 5 o'clock. My car said, tr 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 I was like, oh my God, Bentley is dead. He died on me, girl. So we had to push it into the gas station, okay? And we pushed it into the gas station and parked it right back at pump 8, okay? 
So we left it there. It was the day before Christmas. I had time. I had the energy. I had to go. So we left it there. Christmas came and went, okay? Finally, we got a tow truck to tow it. That's where I messed up number two, okay? So I towed it to a gas station. You know how they be fixing cars on the side of the gas stations? Girl, my dumb ass towed it to a gas station. I met me this Chinese Jamaican man who was acting like he knew everything he was doing. Had my car sitting there for a whole nother two weeks. Bentley was just out of order completely out of order and i was like i don't know what i'm going to so me and richard over here trying to pump you should see us trying to pump the <laughs> trying to pump the gas with a damn pump we over here pumping all day all night trying to pump nothing coming out finally the guy was like yeah i gotta i gotta drop the tank and i gotta do this it's gonna cost you about 800 dollars 800 pounds <laughs> it's christmas girl i coughed up that 800 out of my little rent money okay and i paid the money i need a car i have a son uh, i gotta get Bentley on the road. Oh, um, I'm trying to fix Bentley or whatever. I'm reaching out to the guy. The guy that I'm, I give him $500, okay, to start on the car. I don't hear from Sir after. And I'm like, okay, it's the holidays. Let me let you ride too, because I'm going to ride too. It's the holidays. I let him live. Girl, bye. I, every time I text him, I'm busy. Every time I'm texting, he don't respond. Hello, sir. Where's my car? Where's Bentley? I need Bentley. Oh, your car's ready. I was like, sir, I'm just going to get a tow truck to come tow Bentley because you playing with my money. Oh, when I finally said that, that's when he want to respond. Oh, your car is ready, ma'am. It'll be ready, blah, blah, blah. Um, you, you still have a $300 balance. I was like, whatever, yeah, that's what we discussed. Girl, when I went to pick up the car, he told me I got extra money because he had to do this and he had to do that. He had to do I said, sir, that's not what we discussed. Girl, Bentley, y'all understand, Bentley gave me a whole lot of drama for 2009, the end of 2019, sis. So thank God for Richard being the calm personality that he is. He went to talk to the Jamaican guy and the guy was like, yo, yo, me talk to the young lady and uh, the are done and you could come pick up the car the keys and he count the money and everything was regulated and i drove bentley home to this day bentley smells like gas the moral of the story is get off the phone millennials and pay attention to what you're doing because that cost me nine hundred dollars no eight and then he told me that cost me nine hundred and seventy dollars to get bentley back on the road i could have just got me a new bentley Ugh. Anyways, y'all, I want to thank you guys for watching. God be putting me through this stuff so I can have content for you because there's no way somebody could go through as much crap that I go through. But anyways, again, I have my um, makeup class February 8th at Studio 510. It's going to be here in the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. Eventbrite tickets is in the description box. Get your tickets now. And I thank you for watching. You know, I love you to pieces. And thank you so much for supporting me these years. Okay, and I love you guys. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.